Hey, we're going live today and we're making a classic favorite. I'm feeling a little nostalgic today and we're going back to the classic meatloaf. Now, this is a five ingredient recipe, but it may take you a little bit longer to cook than normal, the normal 30 minutes, but it's a classic favorite. It's one of my family favorites and it kind of reminds me of grandma. So in our home, I don't know about you guys, but in our home we have this area that's kind of dedicated to our grandparents and we have some cute little memorabilia from from them that we remember, like I have my grandma's watch and we have my husband's grandmother's um, little figurines because she loved Disney, so we have Disney figurines. So tell me what kind of memorabilia you have in your home about your grandparents, but for now we're gonna get started on meatloaf. So first thing you need is a pound of meatloaf, or a pound of ground beef, sorry. So a pound of ground beef. And then you need half a cup of, you can do rolled oats, you can do breadcrumbs. I use gluten-free breadcrumbs. I've even used flour in a pinch and it works really good too. So half a cup of flour to your one cup of ground beef. And then you're gonna do one um, onion soup mix. So one packet of dry onion soup mix. And you're going to do one egg and half a cup of either barbecue sauce, you can use half a cup tomato sauce, or you can use half a cup of ketchup. We're OG, we just use the ketchup. But you're going to keep a little bit, reserve a little bit of the sauce, because you're gonna to need to use it later. Now, dig in. This is the gross part. How many of you hate ground beef? Like, I hate the sound of ground beef. Never liked that sound at all. This takes a few minutes to get that nice and incorporated in there. But it's gonna look pretty, it's gonna smell really good too. Once it's all mixed in. Now while you're doing this, you can go ahead and set your oven to preheat at 350 degrees, and then you're going to grease a loaf pan. We also, when we serve meatloaf, I'll usually have some uh, baby carrots and some cut up diced tomato, or potatoes, sorry, some diced potatoes. And sometimes I just throw it all in one pan, or other times I'll just make a separate pan with just the carrots and potatoes, and I'll throw a little bit of that dry onion soup mix on top, and seasons them really well. But a lot of times I just throw it all in one time, so it's all good. All right, so this is looking pretty good. So it's gonna kinda wanna look like this when you're done, it's all mixed in. And then you're gonna wanna make it into a nice loaf. So we're gonna take this over here. We're gonna, sorry, we're gonna make that into a nice little loaf. So it fits in our loaf pan all nice and pretty. Love it. Shape it nice. I'll try to show you. Like I said, usually I'll just throw in some vegetables in with it because it's pretty easy to do, and it makes it just a nice kind of one pot meal, and then it cooks in that ground beef fat. I usually use a very lean ground beef if I cook the vegetables in with it because you will get a lot of the beef fat from it. And then ta-da, there you go. Beautiful loaf ready to go in the oven. Again, my oven's preheated to 350 degrees and I'm going to cook this for about 45 minutes to an hour. Usually it's closer to the hour mark. And it's going to be done when it's not red inside and the meat registers at a cooked temperature. Now that reserved barbecue sauce, you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna brush that on top. Get a nice pretty layer on there. And then I usually cover it with some foil and just throw it in the oven. Now I've got on my website, I'll have this up on Sunday. This is my weekend recipe, so nice and pretty and on the website for you later this weekend. But on the website, I also have an air fryer version that cooks for about that 30 minutes. And I believe you can also use the pressure cooker too to cook this for much less time than the oven method. But I prefer the oven method because that's the method I learned. That's what I've been doing. And typically we only cook it on a Sunday or weekend day when I have a little bit more time to prep it. So it has been fun to make this recipe for you. I can't wait to show you this new recipe on Sunday. Everybody have a great weekend. I'm gonna go back to painting my house. <laughs> We've been painting our house and it has been crazy. So there's tape and paint and all sorts of things everywhere at our house. So I'm going back to painting. You all have a great weekend. Enjoy the last few weekends before school starts and before the cold weather sets in.